Here we have a 2015 on a 64 registration. Volvo B11R, Catano Levante 2, 56 seat, PSVR compliant, executive coach. Um, we're down in South Wales this morning, to be honest. New customer, big customer. We're at Edwards in, uh, I'm going to try, Clantry San. Which is heading up sort of the bottom end of the Ronda Valley. Massive operation, massive National Express operator, hence why we're here. So these are fresh off, um, fresh off National Express, fresh out the body shop. So they've been tidied up. They've, been, they've had a full respray, you know. So they're looking a million dollars. In fairness. Alloy wheels are fitted. Nothing really to pick it up on. Body works all straight down the offside, but if it's just come out of the body shop, it should be. Got a Euro 6 Volvo engine, 11 litre, rumbling away. That's driven through Volvo's 12 speed automated I shift gearbox. Reverse camera's also fitted. Near side, story's the same. Looks great. Levante 2's only have power operated lockers to the near side. Which makes sense to me because you don't often use the other side anyway. You know, so they're not really a necessity. If I can light it up enough and if you can see enough, you've got huge, huge luggage space. Because obviously there's never been any sort of toilet intrusion, it's just the whole uh, length in between the wheelbase is fresh air, which is great. Um, especially if you sort of look further down the line, you can three and two it, you get 85 in this. I don't think you struggle getting 85 bags in, and you've not got weight issues because it's tri axle. LED destination displays to front side and rear. We've got a front step mounted wheelchair lift. And then once we jump on board, standard interior, 56 Fanza Gala reclining seats, three point seat belts finished in very neutral black and grey colours, leather trim. And you know, you look at the seats, this vehicle's nine year old, it's done a million and a half kilometres, it's probably had a million and a half horses sat on these seats, but they don't look worn, do they? They look fine. So there's still life in this as it is. Okay. But down the line, they make great three and twos. The biggest job is removing that rear floor mounted toilet. Which for me, it's in a great place. It's where it should be. It's where it's easy accessible for the customer. However, when you take it out, there's nothing behind it. So you've got to start rebuilding. I mean, Jimmy at Ashall's now has like a template, so he, he makes it look quite easy for doing that. But uh, yeah, for me, these make, all right, you've got to be in the right place because of the length, but they make great, great three and twos. You know, 85 kids, one driver. So normally you'd need two coaches and it's not the vehicles that's the, well, it is at the moment, vehicle supply is not easy, but it's staff. If you can find a way of moving that amount with using one driver instead of two, happy days. You've got trace to the seat backs. There's also 240 volt sockets, wood effect flooring, and getting back to that, it's all flat. Again, lends itself to up seat. Fully air conditioned. We're also wired for CCTV. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people are a bit wary of these. I'll be honest with you, the early Levante ones, awful. They got better. As they got up, as, 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 as they developed, Levante choose different beast altogether. Okay, you don't get. Listen, it's built in a hot country. Anything that's built in Portugal or Spain isn't without its corrosion issues because they don't have salt on the roads over there, so they don't sort of think about it. But these are nowhere near anything like the Levantes were um, from that point of view 
you've got your magic seat so basically you lose that double seat for a wheelchair it kind of like the cushions come up and it swivels around a bit and I'm not quite sure how it all works but it does and and it leaves a wheelchair space cockpit standard Volvo all of I always think the steering wheels look bigger in these than in any other Volvo I sit in I don't know why are they but uh, dash is all in good order all the buttons are where they should be nothing's busted uh, mileage on this one 1.4 million kilometers I would imagine the sister to it which we're also selling is near and near about because diesel, diesel have spent their time just running up and down between South Wales and London the majority of their lives but the dash is in good order as I said mileage is up there but you know you only have to look around it's a big big company this you know and the steam excuse the noise but the steam cleaning the building but look at the look at the maintenance facilities right things get done here and i said that about every national express operator i go to they're on a very 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 strict maintenance regime um you know so i never worry too much about the mechanics of the things because they have to be right this one is one of a pair, 2015, on a 64 registration, Volvo B11R, Catano Levante 2, 56 seat, PSVR compliant, executive coach. 